Hmm. Everybody want to keep judging me, man. Everybody want to keep judging. And I was just looking at your video when you was talking about Paul's letters to the churches and how church folks, they keep forgetting because they thinking they've been going to church so long and some of them always claim they've been saved their whole life. Nah. And Paul was teaching so great. And when you look at the Corinthians, like you were saying, let's go to chapter 5. And I'm going to read verses 9 through 13. And Paul said, we always hear people saying, be in the world but not of the world. But when you look at this, in the world but not of it, let's go to 9. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators. Ye not all together with the fornicators of this world or with the convicts or the idolaters. For then must ye needs go out of the world. And the level say, But now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, an idolater or a railer or a drunken, <laughs> with such an one know not to eat. For what have I do to judge them also that are outside. So I love verse 12. Paul is simply saying, who are we to judge the people on the outside of the church? That God is already going to get anyway. And 13 says, but then, they that are outside, God judges them. Therefore, put away from among yourselves that wicked person. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 9 through 13. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and the doers, <coughs> excuse me, of his holy word. Paul, once again, like you say to me, the man, this is in the church. And I'm so sick of people in the church always pointing fingers at people in the world and judging them. What Paul just tell us in 13, who are we to judge the people on the outside of the church? No, God going to judge the people on the outside. Our job is not to kick folks down while they're already down. And it's so important what you're talking about, Mitty Man, because I was saying this in Revelation, how people don't even believe that the judgment starts in the church. These are church folks fornicating, getting drunk, sleeping around with each other, whatever you want to call it. Everything that we see nowadays that's going on in the church, same thing Paul was talking about in 1 Corinthians. Paul, such a great encourager, standing right and left out the letter to teach folks. Show them to be by God's business. Paul once told everybody, wake up out of this sleepness that we in. Stop living in this foolish life that we are living in. That's what he was saying in so many ways. We need to wake up. Paul was such an excellent teacher. And when you look at these scriptures right here, the letters to the churches, See, most preachers don't want to talk on this because it's too many churches got too much of this mess going on. Yeah. You got choir members sleeping around with other choir members knowing that they married. You got sex parties going on in the church. Musicians sleeping around with praise team members. Deacons sleeping around with folks that's married and they ain't married. You see what I'm saying? Preachers getting caught doing they dirt, but people don't want to talk about this. We're too busy pointing at the world. See, I'm going to stand up and talk on what people don't want to talk about. I'm with you, brother. These was letters to the church. If Paul was going to address the world, Paul would have wrote some letters to the world. Paul wrote letters to the churches. And we overlook these kind of scriptures, many man. That's why I fear you when you did that video. Same thing I've been talking about. We overlook certain scriptures. When you look at all Paul letters and how Paul was teaching people how to be. See, we, we too busy hearing all this other stuff. We don't want to accept the fact of what's really going on in church right now. This is right now times. Solomon said there is nothing new under the sun and he was right. Ain't nothing going on that ain't went in the Bible, that ain't went on before in the Bible. Who are we to judge the people on the outside? I love when Paul said, that's how you break that scripture down. Who are we to talk about our brother and sister that's already lost? 
instead of encouraging them to come to Christ, we started running them away. Like you said in your other video, many man, how many people have we turned away from the house of God, bringing them to God by being ignorant? What did Paul just say? We don't judge the people on the outside. How many scriptures are in the Bible about not judging? What do we see every day? Judging. Paul, great teacher. And like I keep looking at all this stuff about Bishop Eddie Long and Newberg, all this disrespect but toward each other. People just, people just cussing each other out. When our Jesus wasn't nowhere close to that. Jesus. Gee, I remember when Jesus was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they not know what they do. And even the ones that know what they do, he still say forgive them. We can't get to forgiveness, and we can't get past stop judging. And oh, but the great judge on the judgment day, people going to get a rude awakening. Who are we to judge the people on the outside of the church, in the world? Yeah, the scripture say be in the world, but not of the world. But the scripture never told us, don't lift our brother up. It told us to lift him up. It never told us, don't lift him up. It said, lift your brother up. Pray for your lost people. Pray for your leaders. Bishop Eddie Long is a leader. You pray for the man. You don't cuss the man. I don't care what he done. I'm not here to defend him, like I always say. I don't, it ain't just Bishop Eddie Long. I don't care who it is and how bad they is. I pray for them. Because truth be told, ain't none of us in this world walked on no water. None of us. Who are we to judge the people? Scripture teaches me. I don't judge nobody on the inside of the church, and I don't judge nobody on the outside of the church. Because you know what I find out, many man? I see more and more people on the inside of the church more jacked up than the people on the outside of the church. But they holding down on Sunday, but they living a whole nother life on Monday. Mm. But to wake up out of this stupidness, who are we once again to judge the people on the outside? We can't judge nobody. Hey, let me say this again. Hell is easy to get in. Heaven is hard to get in. Oh, yeah. You think I'm lying? Read Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. Heaven is hard to get in. Hell is easy to get in. See, I'm going to stand up and talk about this stuff. This stuff going on in the churches, we can look on the news. We can look on the Internet. It's all over. More and more church folks are getting exposed with dirt. More and more people getting locked up. I saw a comment uh, the other day. Uh, it said, Bishop Eddie Long need to get his head shot off. God don't forgive people like that. I don't know what Bible they read. See, there's too many people still living in the Old Testament Bible, the Old Testament days. Let me say that right. They ain't looking at the grace and mercy. I'm going to say it again. They're going to be shocked. When they get up there and they ain't making it in and wondering why Bishop Eddie Long got in, when God forgives us, whether he's innocent or guilty, people don't realize God forgive him. Now, he God going to have to deal with him on judgment. That's God's job, not us. But we never get to this point in our life because we too busy judging. Once again, Paul said, who are we to judge the people on the outside? Paul gave all kind of instructions on how we supposed to live. I'm just applying the Bible back in these times. This is applied right now. People think when Paul wrote these letters that these letters are just something to be rolled and read. And they don't apply to us. No, this is what's going on nowadays. Nowadays, we judge, we still judging the people on our side of the church. We still talking about they second. They in the world. And half of these folks in church still in the world themselves. They quick to claim we in the world, be in the world, but not of the world, but they still of the world. That's why they can't leave the, the fornicating and the drinking and smoking the blunts and can't get to church on time. They too busy partying, still in the world, but quick to come to church and then judge the people that's on the outside. Oh, Paul say we don't judge the outsiders. Paul said, I'm talking about the insiders of the church. Woo, good God Almighty, what a word, man, man. I had to come back and hit with you with this video, man. I had to, bro. I did a video like this a while back, but once again, it got deleted. Who are we 
that judge the people on the outside. How many more people we gonna run away from the church? I'm tired of people trying to talk about people in the world. Them people on the corner smoking blunts. They're in the church smoking blunts. I done seen some people get busted smoking blunts at church. We're trying to put a label on everything. Sin is sin. All oh, they in the world running them holes. I like to say it like this. They in, they in the church running the church holes. I know somebody going to get mad at that. But a hoe is a hoe. And I'm not judging. If you're a hoe, you're a hoe. If you're a homosexual, you're a homosexual. If you're a lesbian, you're a lesbian. If you're a sinner, you're a sinner. It don't matter. Sin is sin. Oh, man. They don't get along in the world. They fighting on the block. I done seen folks fighting in the back of the church and fighting on the inside of the church. And I'm not talking about having words. I'm talking about fist fighting, blows, fighting inside of the church. Ignorant things inside of the church. But we keep judging the outsiders. Oh, they sleep around with everybody when they get out of the club. They sleeping around with everybody in the choir stand. You got preachers in the pulpit married, sleeping with people in the congregation. Come on, let's get for real with this. Who are we to judge the people on our side? God bless y'all. Love you, Mitty, man.